How we doing, everybody? This is That R Nerd, back at it again with another R tutorial. The tutorial today we're going to go over is called Logical Operators. Um, and so I have this data set that I made. It's the same as the, the previous video, if you've seen that. If not, I'll leave an annotation again um, to include the data so you can go through these examples uh, and follow along, I guess. So, logical operators are uh, basically checks that check to see whether or not something is true. Um, and so what these are is we have a greater than, less than. Um, this sign means greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Um, this one means not equal to, and this one means that it's, it's strictly equal to. And these logical operators here, they return a value of either true or false. And we're gonna go over some different examples here. So, uh, the first one we have is six is less than five. Does that seem true? No, it doesn't, right? Six is bigger than five. So if we run that, it's gonna return a false here. Um, we could do something like little e is equal equal to big E. Um, so what this is checking is are these two things equal? Um, and of course, they are not, right? One of these is lowercase where the other one is capital. Uh, but what about big E equal equal to big E? Well, this is true, right? Um, these are both the same thing here. Uh, so great. So we could also do something like height is greater than 70. And so this comes from our data set here and we have all our different heights. And so this is checking to see whether or not each element in our vector uh, has a height greater than 70 or not. And so if we run height down here, um, we can check and see this one is 70, so it's not, it's not greater than 70, right? So false, false. This one is greater than 70, so it's equal to true. And it goes through and checks all the different heights right there. Um, so what if we did something like overweight is not equal to true. Um, so we have an overweight vector here and we have false, tr false, true, false, true, right, all the way down. And we're checking to see um, is which one, which of these overweights is not equal to true. And so if we run that, um, it's actually just gonna give us the opposite. So I don't know, it's not very helpful here, I guess, but um, so is this one not equal to true? Yeah, it's, it's equal to false, right? Um, so then we make it equal to true. Uh, so there's that one there. Take a look at BMI here. And we have a bunch of different BMIs and we see one equal to that exactly, um, to the 16.34. Uh, so we'll say, is BMI equal to 16.34? Um, so again, this one's gonna go through the whole vector of BMIs and see if any of them are equal to 16.34. And it's gonna return true or false. And one of them is equal to 16.34. Um, so it returns a true for that one and false for the rest of them. Let's see, we do another check here. Say gender is equal to false. Gender. <laughs> uh, no, gender is equal to false. Um, so it goes through, so we have male, 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 and we have female, female, male, female, female. Anyway, so it goes through and, and checks it and returns true if it is a female. Okay, uh, again, in the last video, we did some of the, the subsetting. Um, so this one kind of has to do with that. So we'll say height of gender is equal to female. Um, so this is our logical operator here. We're gonna check and see which of these genders are equal to female, and then we're gonna return the heights for any of the, the females. So it goes through, we have five, five females, and this is gonna be the heights of uh, those females. Got a tall group here. So, uh, the next one we could do is um, the little explanation mark, and we'll do height is greater than 70. Um, so again, this is this explanation is like a not, not equal to, I guess. So the heights that are not greater than 70. Um, so again, this is kind of just the opposite of, of this one up here, right? Um, so this one's, not greater than 70, not greater than 70, and then we do have one that's, that's greater than 70, and so forth the rest of the way down. 
Um, we have other other checks and stuff that we can do. Um, so we have like ands and, and ors and stuff. Um, so what these do is we could do something like height. Height is greater than 70. Or, so this little vertical pipe just says or age is greater than 40. So what this is going to check, it's going to check and see if the, the height is greater than 70 or the age is greater than 40. And it's going to re return a true if either of those are true. Well, either of them or both, I guess. And so that's what that does. Uh, we could do something like all, and this, this just checks whether to, to see if everything within that uh, vector is true. Um, so if we said, are all of the ages greater than 18? If that was something we wanted to check, that's what this could do. Are all of the ages greater than 18? And that's true, right? We look at our age and they're all greater than 18, so perfect. They also have something called any. So if we did any age less than 18. So again, this is just kind of asking, just in, in simple speaking terms, I guess, um, are any of the ages less than 18? Well, no, they're all greater than 18, right? Um, so if we run that, it's gonna come back as false. None of the ages are less than 18. We could just do a couple more of these. So are any of the heights less than 70? Yes, so that's gonna be true. Are all of the heights less than 70? Uh, no, there's gonna be some greater, right? Um, so false, not all of them are, are less than 70. Um, we could also do something like age of not overweight um, so this is going to give us the age of anyone who is not overweight. Um, so that gives us all those ages there. We could also do gender of age greater than 50. Um, so again, this is going to give us the, the gender of anyone who's over 50 years old. And so we have two females and a male. And finally, we could do something like BMI. Height is equal to the max of height. And so what this is going to do um, is it's going to give us the BMI of uh, whichever height is equal to the, the tallest height. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of confusing, right? But, but basically this is just giving us the BMI of whoever is the tallest in our group, right? Because it's, it's looking for the, the max height here. And if we run that, it's going to give us the, the BMI for the tallest person. So those are some logical operators within R. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a logical operator directly onto that like button down below. If you have any uh, suggestions for future tutorials to go over, make sure to leave a comment below and I will make, uh, make sure I make a video on that. And subscribe if you wanna see more videos similar to this one. This is currently uh, video four of my R Basics series. Um, Okay, I think that's it. You guys have just a wonderful Phantasmo day.